the Instant Pot Vortex Plus 10 quart versus the Ninja Foodie 8 quart. And we're going to see how they do against each other on roasting those two almost identical pork tenderloins in lemon garlic seasoning. We're going to use a rotisserie in the Instant Vortex. And that's because I bought it for the basket. Well, the basket, I'm not saying, I'm not going to lie, I'm on the fence with it. It did good on the fries I did last night, and you can see that video. It did a great job. Just a few more steps than I like. Well, the other reason I bought it was for its rotisserie function. So I'm expecting it to challenge the Ninja Foodie, which is the king of my kitchen and has been for quite some time, and I don't see anything in the near future going to knock it off that throne. But this can't rotisserie. That's it. That's the only thing it can't do. It can do a lot more than it can do, of course, but it doesn't do rotisserie. Long story short, we're going to do the rotisserie against one just in the Ninja on roast feature. We're going to use the meter block. It's a brand new one. I've never used it. I'm fixing to use it for the first time. I've got other meters. These are uh, up by uh, Action Labs. I've, I've used them before, but uh, I bought this and I just want to use it, and we're going to. The, uh, the, the only other thing I'll say is that it's a, both of these are great units for what they do. I think you know, if you know anything about these, this is just more or less an air frying oven. And you know what the Ninja does. If you watch my videos, I know you do. So, I'm also doing this kind of dedicating this to two of my uh, subscribers. I'm going to try and do this more often, but there's two right quick. Vita Z Gal, you know you're going up. She's, uh, every day she comments to me and we have a conversation on a lot of things. And I'm so glad you got your Ninja Foodie. I'm happy for you. I really am. And I can't wait to hear your results. The next one, Lou Patton. He's got a website called BleacherRats.com and he put he posted my YouTube channel on his on his uh, blog or website. So I'll touch on that a little later. But anyhow, I'm John Sanders. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Jelly 007 and let's get this show on the road. Okay, so some of this does need a little ex explanation. First thing I want to say is this is the meter block and you may not be aware of it, but it uses a Bluetooth connected temperature probe, no wires. I really like that part. And there's how it uh, transmits Bluetooth to your tablet or phone or whatever. And then you can, if you connect to this cloud, you can check your temperatures from anywhere in the world you have an internet connection. So it's pretty neat. I will say also, nobody's paying me for none of this. I have no, I have gotten any payment or incentive. This is all my honest review. So, the, the Instant Vortex, we're going to put, I'm going to have to cut this down maybe. I'm not sure yet. Once I get it out of this pack, I'm going to see if I can crunch it down to make it fit. But I'm going to make them real similar because I may have to cut this one down too to fit my air frying basket. They're both 1.7 pounds. They're identical. And I don't know if you can read it. It's not focusing for where it is. That's what both of them are. And I, I assure you, I mean, I'll have to show you, I promise you. <laughs> And then we're going to set these up. We're going to rotisserie this one, obviously, and just roast that one and check our in internal temps. We're not even going by time. We're going by internal temp. So y'all hold up. I will be right back when I get some of that done. Okay, and just for demonstration purposes, I have got this and I'll, I didn't poke a hole I just got that to go right through the center it's pretty easy you just kind of hold the loin and make it happen but here's the important part you see that dimple well let's see if you can see that dimple that dimple in that square shaft you want your set screw to be there and fairly tight and then I'm going to shove that on shove that loin on that uh spit or that this <laughs> and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side by the way i did not trim this one i just compressed it so this may be a perfect test we'll see i'm going to get that one on and then this one i'm going to do the same thing with i'm just going to crush it down in fact we'll do it right now if you can see it on here we're just going to take that and i'm going to put it just like that fat side up in the ninja in fact, it's got a little better surface for it to sit on. Yeah, I'm going to make it work just like that. There you go. I'm going to center it 
all the way up. But anyhow, you get you get the drift. Just center it up, get it on your rack. Now I am using the insert in my air frying basket to get it a little closer and all of the above. Y'all know that. So, okay, so I've got both the loins. Uh, on this one's on the spit this one's ready in the ninja's air frying basket i've got the probes and the meter probes now you can see this one is number four in the uh, ninja i'm only using two probes uh, so you'll see number four on here when i get that lit up as the ninja and number one as the vortex i did the vortex i it may give bad ambient readings because this is touching the meat and I couldn't put it in from the side because it would have interfered with the rotisserie part. So the next thing we got to do is preheat both of these. I'm going to cook them at 360 degrees, and both of them. I'm going to set both of them up, and I'm going to let both of them preheat around five minutes. Now this one preheats and then starts counting. So I'm going to let it just let it do what it's got to do at 360. I'm going to let this one go for five minutes. So they're both about a five-minute preheat at 360 degrees. Here is the USDA's website. It's calling for 145 internal and then rest for three minutes. Now that's recently been lowered from what used to be 160, 165. I don't remember, but my point is people around here, because of the years of pork being at 160, 165, they're kind of leery of pink inside of pork. So we're going to pull mine at 150 and let it rest for about 10 minutes. And that should take me to 160 or so and remove any of that pink center. And, and, and if you're okay with pink center, by all means, I would definitely follow that. But I want to keep them both the same. So we're going to 150. And I'm going to get those preheated and I'll be right back. Okay, so they both preheated for about five minutes. This one's already started, or it thinks it started cooking, but it hasn't. So I'm going to shut them both down and I'll cut them all the way. I'll cut both of them all the way off so we'll know exactly where we're starting from. All right, there's the Vortex's oven. Vortex oven's roast. Make sure it's in there good. And it is. We're going to close it and then immediately hit uh, off when I find that. Right there. Cancel. All right, now. Set the ninjas in. I'm going to set it in and hit off on it. Now we're going to do air crisp for at 360. And we're just going to run them both to an hour. There's no reason not to. We're not going to run that. We're going by temp, which I got to get that going in a minute. We're going to hit start on that one in just a second. All right, we'll do air fry 360 for. We're going to tell it an hour, just like we did the Ninja. Start and start. We are off and running. Now that one thinks it's got a preheat, but it shouldn't take but just a second. There should be nearly no difference, and you know, you see the results. Now I got to get the uh, temps going, and I will get us going right back. I did forget to do something right here. I had to hit rotate, but it only been 45 seconds. <laughs> So anyhow, I got rotate going, and if you can see in there, let me see if I can make sure you can, it is now rotating. And there's a light it has. So there we go, be back in just a second. Okay, so as you can see, the number one probe, which is here, is 149, and that is in, uh, well, 20, I think it says 28 minutes, so that's 32 minutes of cook time. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. You can see it rotating around, and this might be something the instant uh, vortex is good for, and we may have found that. Okay, so we've hit 150 here. We're still showing 138 here, but I mean, like I said, everything's a little, the, the probes may not be exact. So we're gonna check with the thermopin, and I'm gonna shut that one down and see what it is. In fact, you know what, let's just do it. I may reach in front of the camera, but that's what I'm about to do. So we're gonna open it up, Right now, let's see, we're going to go right here, and as a matter of fact, it's showing, well, I may not, again, it's hard to hit the center of these things. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, 148, and I'm going to pull it through it, and that's the way I've found works best, and just... And these thermopins are so fast, you can do that. You just pull it real slow, and you'll get your 
lowest temp. We're going to let it run because it's. I saw 148. So that's what we are doing. You hear it come right back on and it automatically starts rotisserie in again. And we're waiting on this one to come up a little bit and I'll put, uh, I'll put the thermopin in it also. So be right back. Okay, so we're showing 155 over here. I'm sorry, 155 over here for this roast. We're gonna pull it out now, because I feel positive. Even with a thermopin, I would be able to get 150. And you just do what we've done before, like right there, press the uh, red lever. And that, this right here might not work that bad. That's uh, the rotisserie, I'm gonna cancel that. The rotisserie might be the thing for the vortex. Now we'll also show, and it's, it's running a little cool down, but you can see the bottom. It, the pan held, you know, that small amount of fat that dripped. And I am curious with a, you know, a decent sized chicken or, you know, something with a lot of fat, how it handle it. But you can see, it looks to me like it did fairly well. And, uh, We've been wanting a rotisserie, so that this might work out just for that. So, be right back. Okay, so now the Ninja uh, in probe four is 149, and we're going to take a probe read on it right now, or a thermopin read, and I'm sure I'm in front of the camera, and I apologize, but it's easier said than done. So I'm seeing 144. On the lowest temp was, if I pull it back through, 144. We're gonna let it go a few more minutes. We'll let it count down to say 21 minutes. We'll check it again. Be right back. Okay, so we are at 2110. So that's close enough. Let's see what we get now. 148, 149. That's that is close enough for me. So we're going to take the basket out of the Ninja. And that might take me a second. Again, I'm sure I'm in front of the camera, but. And there we go. So we're gonna let those rest just a minute. And that was probably, I think it, I didn't do, I didn't watch it that close, but maybe you can remember. I wanna say that was like four minutes a piece. This one was four minutes apart. This one got done Four minutes faster than the Ninja, if that matters to you. So, and there, and there's what they look like right now, which is not bad, either one of them. So, you know, hold up. I'm going to get that now to that. And we're going to cut this up in a minute after the rest a minute. Okay, so they've sat here about five minutes. I just want to get the Ninjas out of its basket. I'm going to put it right there and get this. Well, I'm going to put it back in there. And uh, like I said, they've got about five more minutes of resting. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh, it lost its connection. That's something it wanted an update while ago, and I couldn't get it to do it, or I didn't want to do it. That's something you want. If you have a meter block, it doesn't ask for the update until you try to set up a cook. Well, when you do, it wants you to uh, update it at that point, and I didn't want to update it during the middle of a cook. So, long story short, just to let you know what to look for, there, there it comes back, and there it is. And we're going to go back to our main. We were 161 and 162. So that is absolutely 100% what I was shooting for. So I'm going to get, I'm going to let it sit just a few more minutes. I'm going to get these out and get it ready to cut up. We're going to see what they look like. Y'all hold up. Okay, I just wanted to show. They've been out of the uh, cookers for about 12 minutes. And you can see this one's already turning around. And that one is too. They got to about 162 or so. But that's pretty perfect. I mean, about a 10 degree. And then you can also, they're, they're kind of cooling and kind of getting, you know, ready to cut and ready to eat. I got to get this uh, uh, spit out of that one. And I got to get the probes out of both of them. But once I do that, uh, you can tell the differences. In fact, I'll show them a little better. And uh, this is the one, obviously, from the uh, uh, instant... Uh, vortex and it looks good it looks real good and here's the one from the ninja nothing wrong with it either so y'all hold up and i'm going to get that done and we're going to start slicing this up and i'm going to eat some of it 
Okay, so I thought I'd show this. All I did was remove that end. Of course, I pulled the uh, probes out. And you just have to get hold of it pretty good and then slide that out. Now, I hope you can see that, but it's that simple. So, I'm about to cut them up, like I said. Y'all hold up. Okay, so I will say, they both look like they're really good. <laughs> and I got a feeling they are. And that one was 40 minutes or so total cook time. And this was about 35 in the vortex. So let's see what the ninja looks like right in the center. And uh, I don't think you'll beat that very much. That, I mean, you can see I'm having to, I'm dripping in the floor. It is plenty uh, of whatever you would want. Plenty of juices and everything else. It's definitely, definitely not dry. So, I didn't like the way that light was doing, so I'm trying to, you know what, turn this one on. How about that? All right. Now, again, I'll show that one with the light on. You can see it is plenty. In, in fact, I'm dripping it in the floor, and you can make and see that. Okay, here comes the vortex. And uh, you can see on the board, it, it, it's already, I'm going to have to, I need to get something to put over it, but I'll hold my hand under it. That is some pretty good looking pork. And uh, I mean, it is nowhere near dry. So that worked real well. Again, I'm going to uh, get me a plate and we're going to, I'm going to eat some <laughs> and let y'all know how it is. I'll be right back. Okay. Both of them did an excellent job, but we did find something, if you ask me, that, that the vortex might be good at and that is rotisserie and I, I think it's simple as it can be and it's, it makes a you saw the mess in the bottom that door comes off by the way it's simple to pull off i've had it off it's no big deal it, 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 it i think it makes it i think it needs a place on your counter uh you need a toaster oven and all kinds of stuff like that and it'll rotisserie and does and it's easy to clean if that changes when i try to clean it i'll tell you but look at this now there's the Ninja. I got them set up just like they were. Ninja here, uh, Vortex here, and I poured some of that juice on the plate. And I hope you can see what I was pointing at just then. Like I said, Ninja here, Vortex here, and uh, I mean they are they're cooked. They're both of them cooked perfect. They really are. I'm gonna cut one just because I always do, and uh, taste it. Just take my word though. This lemon garlic. I love lemon. Now, one thing I did do wrong tonight was my lemons were not here. We used them Sunday, and I had forgotten. So, I don't have lemons. If I had lemons, you could put a little bit of lemon juice on it and make it way better. And I'm sure you could add garlic, too. But the lemon is what it really needed. So, I'm going to eat a bite of either one. And uh, just in that juice. And... I don't know why I'm doing it. You can tell by looking at it. In fact, I'm not eating that much. You can tell by looking at it that it's right. And it really is. They both work great. And uh, the, uh, the Vortex did it. I think it was like five minutes faster. But the fact that it's rolling it, I'm, and like I said, not a bad idea. But anyhow, thank you all for watching my video. Like I said, I was going to touch back on uh, Vita Z Gal, which follow, she she interacts a lot. I love that she's just got a, a foodie. She waited and waited for one. Now she's got it. And I can't wait to hear how her recipes go and how it does. Uh, Bleacherrats.com. I mean, this guy, not only, he's got a, it's a great looking blog. Like I said, it's a, he, he keeps it updated and all that. Not to mention, he's a serviceman. And I'm telling you, to me, saying thank you for your service, and I do say that all the time, and everybody does. But man, uh, saying thank you for risking your life, and that's what it is. So I can sit here and do this kind of stuff is is really the uh, 
the what I appreciate. I, I, I can't imagine, you know, what a lot of people go through, all servicemen and women. But Lou Patton, uh, direct descendant of Davy Crockett's uh, his wife, by the way. You can see how that on his Facebook, or his, I think, I don't know if he's got it on his Bleacher Rats, and I saw it on his Facebook. Anyhow, y'all come back to see me. Thanks very much for watching my video. Uh, both of them work great, but there's, just, there's something really good that the Vortex does. I'm going to put y'all a video right here that y'all can, uh, that Google will pick out y'all need to see next, and y'all need to watch that. And then, of course, subscribe. I'll put my big head right here. Please share my, uh, my videos with anybody that you think might want them. I, I, I really do. I think that helps a lot with my subscribers, and uh, I need it. <laughs> but I think also, if you know people, that's the best way, is if you know people that want to see this kind of video, please share it with them, and I appreciate that. Y'all come back to see me, and y'all have a good night. I love y'all all. Night-night.